Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session of Durga Software Solutions Easy English. My name is Lakshmi. I'm a competitive English language trainer and also a soft skills trainer. We conduct training sessions for engineering students as well as business management students. So students, in our previous session we have discussed about the structures of tenses and the forms of verbs. We also learned the conversion of active and passive voices and also the different rules of articles. In today's lesson, we are going to discuss about the direct speech and indirect speech. Okay? Yes. What is the necessity of learning the direct and indirect speech? Very good. So most of the time, in the competitive examinations, around five points are going to be traced by direct and indirect speeches. And this is quite challenging area for even the English medium students to catch the rightful indirect speech. Yes. And in our today's class, very easily we are going to learn them. So beforehand, I would like to ask you a question. What is direct and indirect speech? What is a speech actually? Yes? Yeah. The words that we speak, the sentences that we speak, this all comes under speech, right? And what is direct speech? Very good. I am taking person A, person B and person 3, sorry C. And this is the first person, second person, third person. For easy understanding of direct and indirect speeches, I took the help of three people here. First person, second person, third person. We usually tend to speak with others with anxiety. Right? When we speak something, what happens? If our friend revealed a secret to us, do we keep it as a secret? No. We try to pass it to our friend. Okay? So, when your friend tells you the secret, that will be your direct speech. And the same secret, if you pass on to your friend, to another friend of yours, and that is going to be your indirect speech. Okay? Let's see how it's going to work. Your friend told a secret to you. Okay? This is your direct speech. And the same secret is being sent by you to one of your other friends. And that is your indirect speech. But the information in the speech is quite same. But who is changing here? The person who is passing the information is changing here. Okay? In the indirect, in the direct speech, person A passed direct information to person B. In indirect speech, person B passed the same information what person A had passed to B to person C. So here, I call this is a direct and this is an indirect speech. That is our first challenge. This is the area where most of the students don't understand what exactly a direct and indirect speech is. The next challenging area is identification. So what is our first challenging area with direct and indirect speeches? Understanding. Understanding the meaning of direct and indirect speech. Secondly, identification. Identification of the direct and indirect speeches. How do you identify a direct and indirect speech? Okay, let me take an example for you. Sheila said, I wrote a letter to my dad. Okay, Sheila said, I wrote a letter to my dad. 
and I am saying this is my indirect sorry direct speech I call this as direct speech why do you call it as a direct speech let me give you some identification marks in this direct speech some information began with a subject okay he said she said you said the information began with subject and followed by a verb the information began with a subject followed by a verb in several direct speeches we come across she inquired he said he told okay she tells this all so subject is fo followed by sorry yeah subject is followed by verb here in the direct speech and immediately there will be a comma that is placed beside the verb that is mentioned in the beginning of the speech okay and after that this part is called the exact words of the speaker very good the exact words of the speaker don't misunderstand speaker doesn't mean the computer speaker or the deck or the advanced dts speaker that we are using in the classrooms no okay so it's a the speaker's words this is going to be the exact words of the speaker and the exact words of the speaker has to be quoted here by means of inverted commas okay by means of inverted commas we have to quote the words of the exact speaker so we call this total speech as quoted speech that means direct speech is also known as quoted speech why do you think so it is called quoted speech because the exact words of the speaker are being quoted as it is in the sentence so we call this as a quoted speech now let me give you one more example i want to show you one more example giri said he is going to chennai next week okay giri said he is going to chennai next week of course this began with a subject and followed by a verb but still something is put in inverted commas so whatever the information that is put in inverted commas always think that these are the exact words of the speaker who is speaking okay so since this exact speaker information is quoted in the inverted commas this is called quoted information hence i call it as a quoted speech okay quoted speech now you understood very clearly whenever you find a speech that is quoted in inverted commas that is called a direct speech or quoted speech between how many people this speech is going to take place two people okay the direct speech is going to take place between two people as well the quoted speech is also going to take place between two people direct speech is nothing but that is called a quoted speech it is also known as quoted speech is it clear now students now if i give you some examples can you find out whether it is a direct speech or indirect speech 
yes we are going to do it in a couple of minutes but beforehand i have something to explain little more that is about this part of my observation now i finished doing something with this part now i supposed to do something with this part okay so when the information carries from person a to b that is going to be a direct speech and if the same information is being passed by b to c that is going to be our indirect information in this how can we identify whether a given sentence is direct or indirect just just focus on the tenses that we write here okay what was our previous sentence that we gave for the indirect spe direct speech yeah sheila said i wrote a letter to my dad this is how always you have to put full stop first then close the inverted commas here you should after placing comma you should begin the inverted commas and when you begin the inverted commas always the first letter after the inverted commas it should be i suppose if you are beginning the inverted commas after comma and you are starting your sentence with right the word right then always take the capital letter right w and followed by the remaining small letters okay this is a rule and next so this is my direct sentence direct speech sentence now i would like to convert this into indirect speech how can we i identify sheila said that she had written a letter to her dad to her dad so this is called as indirect speech this is direct speech and this is indirect speech let me give you big uh, heading for you this for this direct and indirect is it clear now yeah this is direct speech and this is indirect speech in the direct speech it is provided with the exact words of the speaker which are quoted this this is called a quoted speech so we call direct speech as a quoted speech but here when you observe the indirect speech do we find any inverted commas do we find any commas here no the moment it began it got ended with only the full stop okay we don't end a uh, indirect speech with any question mark even when you are converting a question which is in the direct form into indirect still you are going to end it with the full stop that's a rule okay so when we speak something about the conversion of indirect uh, sorry direct questions into indirect form there we are going to discuss again but as of now please concentrate this area in the indirect speech the first person's information is being passed to c by means of second person okay i mean the first person's information is going to pass to third person by means of second person hence it is called indirect speech okay so what is exactly happening here this person is reporting something about this person to him is it not so this is also called as reported speech what speech this is also called as reported speech my friend told me something my friend gave some information to me she passed some information to pass the same information to my colleagues now what do i do i speak in the mic and pass the same information to my rest of the rest of my friends so when i pass the same information what my friend has passed me that is going to be my reported information 
so hence i call that information as a reported speech so in this case i being the second person i took the information from the first person and passing the first person's information to the third person okay when the information is passed by my friend to me that is a direct information when the same information is being passed by me to my friends that is going to be the indirect information right so direct speech indirect speech and now let us understand what did we discuss just now understanding direct speech and identifying direct speech now did you identify what is a direct spe indirect speech yes in an indirect speech we don't have any quotation i mean any quotations something we don't have any inverted commas now i want to write one more sentence Gita asked her whether she was busy. Whether she was busy. Gita asked her, inquired, Gita inquired her whether she was busy. Okay. So now. in my sentence i don't have any inverted commas and i don't have any quoted speech so i can easily understand that this is my indirect speech okay this is a small technique to understand how an indirect speech and direct speech can be identified so students thirdly we are going to discuss about yeah the rules of direct and indirect speech the rules understanding the direct indirect identification of direct and indirect and the rules of direct and indirect generally when we deal some questions with direct and indirect speeches we have to focus on three areas okay direct and indirect speech when changing the direct speech into indirect speech we are supposed to focus on three areas what are those yes it's already clearly given on the board one is the first is pronoun and the second is the verb and third is the time so these three areas you have to focus a lot especially when dealing with direct and indirect speeches so the direct in the direct speech the pronoun that is present in the direct speech is going to change its form when it becomes a indirect speech in the same way the verb that is present in the direct speech is going to change its form when it becomes a indirect speech same as the time that is specified in the direct speech is going to change its form when it comes to indirect speech so these are the three core areas that you have to focus more when you are converting a direct speech into indirect speech so these are the respective rules for converting a direct speech into indirect speech if you focus on these three particular rules you can very well play games with direct and indirect speeches i mean the reported speeches are going to be quite easy for you okay now let's see how the pronouns are going to change their form when it comes to indirect speech and how the verbs are going to change its form when it comes to indirect speech and even how the time is going to change its form coming to indirect speech see 
I would like to focus more on my pronoun. In the direct speech, if I is mentioned, when it comes to indirect speech, I gets converted into either he, she, it, you. Any one of these forms. Okay? Once again, when an I is identified in the direct speech, this I gets converted into he, she, it or you in the indirect speech. That means this form is going to change according to the subject that we are speaking in the direct speech. Alright? Same as V is going to convert into you or they. Okay? V is going to convert into you or they. And coming to you, there is a little bit problem with you. You have to satisfy two people here. When you is mentioned in direct speech, if you is a singular in the direct speech, it becomes, it gets converted into either I, she, he, it, me, him, her in the indirect speech. In case if you is plural, if we are speaking about the plural subject taking you as a center, obviously it gets converted into we, us, them. Alright? Next, he, she, it gets converted into I. They gets converted into you and we. Me gets converted into him, her, you, it. Don't get confused. Me also a pronoun. Me is also pronoun. Us is also pronoun. Okay. And them is also pronoun. Don't get confused in this area. Even sometimes we tend to change me into him, her, you, it, etc. I'm going to show you when we do the examples. Don't worry. And now in the same manner, us is going to get converted into you or them. Depends upon the subject that we take. If we speak about the plural subject, we have to adopt them. If we speak about a group or a singular subject, sometimes we have to adopt you. And if you are included in that plural, you have to take you. Okay. If you are not included, then definitely you have to take them. Likewise, him, her, it gets converted into me and you. And my gets converted into your, his, her, its. And our gets converted into your, their. Our gets converted into your, their. And their, it's not their, T-H-E-R is different. T-H-E-I-R is different, okay. Their gets converted into our and your. So this is about the conversion of pronouns in terms of direct and indirect speeches. Now how about the time? Let us come to verbs later. But first of all try to focus about the time. Even time also changes most of the time. If today is mentioned in the direct speech, Today gets converted into that day when it comes to indirect speech. Okay? Today, that day. I write a letter today. Something like, I write a letter today. Then it gets converted into, I wrote a letter that day. Okay, see how today got converted into that day. This is your main focus. And wrote, write becomes wrote. These are the some simple 
techniques that we have to follow especially when converting these time pronoun and verb sequences when it comes to direct and indirect speeches now coming to yesterday yesterday gets converted into the day before the day before or the previous day and tomorrow today is there and yesterday is there what about tomorrow let us include tomorrow also in our session tomorrow is going to get converted into the next day see one more one more word that can be used for yesterday that is the day before or the previous day the day before or the previous day we can say okay and today as usual it can be converted into the next day in indirect speech next day after tomorrow day after tomorrow what is day after tomorrow meaning in telugu ellundi right so when we indicate a day that is after the next day we call it as day after tomorrow and how that can be expressed in terms of indirect speech and day after tomorrow gets converted in two days later two days later ago before long ago we say so it becomes before long before ago gets converted into before and this gets converted into that this day gets converted into that day the same way now gets converted into then here gets converted into there here it is there it's not there there is pronoun and there is time and last week the week before okay and here it's indicating the place actually here there it is indicating the place that the action is taking where the action is taking place that place identification is mentioned here here or there last week the week before hence hence hereafter thereafter hence hence hereafter thereafter hence i was told by my teachers hence i told them to get a pack of cookies when you convert that particular direct speech into indirect speech it becomes hence i had told them or i had told them to get the cookies this is how we usually use it in terms of sentences so now you understood very clearly what exactly has to be converted into what in terms of time and in terms of pronouns now let us understand in terms of verbs how this can be converted the how indirect how a direct speech gets converted into indirect speech in terms of verbs let us see this table this is a very important table something like a soul of the body soul of a human body right so uh, the soul of the human body is heart so it's not a soul of a human body i'm so sorry it's the soul of the direct and indirect speeches okay so right gets converted into wrote is writing gets converts into is writing has or have gets converted into had in terms of indirect speech has have plus been gets converted into had been and wrote gets converted into had written had gets converts into had had been gets converts into had been will gets converted into would shall gets converted into should the same as can into could 
may into might must into should shall into should and also must into should so for both of these same or model verb we are going to take it in terms of indirect speech now is it clear students how well we have framed each and every part very clearly now this if this pack is ready with you in your mind we can easily deal with the direct and indirect speeches now now shall we start doing the examples yeah okay now the first three areas we have finished now what we are doing we are going to concentrating on the examples so let us put them on the action put them on the action now so far in fact we were discussing only the rules now we are going to bring them onto the dais now i am taking an example my example is this he said i write a letter full stop he said i write a letter what speech is this yes we know that this is a direct speech and i say that this is a quoted speech okay now i want to convert this into indirect speech what should i do here yes first of all you have to focus on the tense of the speech what tense does this speech belong to very good this belongs to simple present tense okay so a simple present tense gets converted into simple past tense that's what we have studied here right simple present got converted into simple past did you observe here a simple present verb got converted into simple past verb so here it is a simple present so the simple present gets converts into simple past that means we are going to bring the verb as it is but in a different form let's see in my uh, reported speech i am writing my reported speech like this he said that 